Hello and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on troubleshooting high availability. This lesson focuses on troubleshooting router or switch performance. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to configure timestamps, configure logging, explain syslog, troubleshoot memory usage problems, discuss a few tools to measure performance. Specifying a severity level as the argument for a syslog or SNMP command means the output includes messages at that severity level and all levels below it in terms of number. As seen in the table on the slide, there are eight severity levels. The lower the number, the higher impact there is on the system. For a Cisco device, the default severity level is 6, known as informational. Logging from all network devices can be directed to a central location called a syslog server. The limitations of console and buffered logging are overcome by using syslog. A syslog server can be configured by using a syslog utility on a PC, server, or appliance. Single repository for syslog messages has numerous benefits. One advantage is that the messages can be backed up as any other file as a part of the regular backup schedule. Troubleshooting is easier as you can determine the extent of the problem when viewing all system messages in one place. Syslog software provides filtering and reporting capabilities to make best use of the information. In the next slide, let us look into memory usage. 